Hey, Merry Bash, 21st of October, 2018, and you know, when I go out in the world, right, I talk to, you know, enough people to understand clearly that very few people in this world have any idea whatsoever the darkness that they're dealing with. Uh, when it comes to their peace and their eternal soul, okay, they're clueless. And God is like just revealing so much to us in these last days. It's, it's becoming so undeniable, yet people refuse to see it, okay? And I've just given an example here of how we are openly and blatantly being shown what is manifesting in this world in that people need to be prepared with Jesus, that Jesus is the only escape from this encroaching darkness, okay? Now, we just had a week ago, on the 13th, okay, of all days, the 13th, when these remains of 11 infants were found in the ceiling of a funeral home, okay? Now, since that time, okay, there was 11 that they found there was another discovery in the same funeral home. Another, uh, what, 27 fetuses were found, okay? To total 38 altogether, right? Another 11, okay? Now, yesterday, okay, a week after this, okay, this was on the 13th that this came to light because that's what it is. This is God, people, putting the light on this so that you can see what's coming in the uh, yesterday. This is from yesterday. Dozens more infant remains found in a funeral home. Okay. But in this one, there were 63. All right. There's a little more detail in this one here. It explains, see, yeah, this is yesterday, the 20th. It explains that there were 36 of them found in a freezer box, or unrefrigerated box, rather. Think about this, people. These are fetuses and infants. Do you understand? Remember I was telling you about the, the necromancers, okay, the other day? Well, that's what this is. That's what these people are doing. They're, they're, they're spirit cooking. Remember these folks? All these fun-loving people, Lady Gaga, look at that, enjoying the, the nice cannibal meal. Remember all these people? Like, as if this stuff just didn't happen, it just, like, went away. You know what I'm saying? This is real stuff, and it's showing God himself is allowing us to see these things. So they find unrefrigerated box with 36 deceased bodies of fetuses and infants. Think about this. 36, there's your 9 after we had the 11, right? The 38, 11. So there's your 9 in one box, but they continue searching and they find another 27. Another 9 to total 63. Another 9. There's your six, six, six. So we have nine on the 20th, 63, right? And 11 on the 13th. Think about this. And this is the high holy day time of the year for these people, okay? The 13th through the 30th is when they get all their dead fetuses so they can do their spirit cooking. You understand? And then, of course, we're coming up on the climax. It's the satanic high holy day. Blood and human sacrifice, sex rituals, you name it, folks. This is their time. This is when they really fire up their hexing and what have you. I'm just telling you, this is very real. And it's being shown for a purpose. So that those who aren't in Christ, who do see how wicked and evil this is. And you come to realize that you cannot escape this. There's nothing on this earth that's going to get you 
out of this darkness and give you peace in life and eternal life. Okay? That's only Jesus Christ. It's the only door out. You need him. Period. So we're in that time. This is the high holy time of the satanic freaks, more or less. This is what they are. This is what they do. And this is the spirit that they serve. You understand me? you got to come to grips with this and rebuke it. And understand that, you know, the spiritual war that rages in everyone that hardly anyone understands is manifesting into this world in a way that's going to create such chaos, such fear, that men's fear will kill them, essentially. I mean, really, you're not going to have the wherewithal to fully understand that you're in this war and the armor of God that you need in order to defeat it. It's already been done for you. You need only to be in Jesus Christ. Okay? That's just the truth, folks. Because this is coming and it's real and it's building right up and up and up and up and up that are, in fact, leading up to something. I mean, we all know it. Everybody senses it. But not everybody knows Jesus. So they're running around in fear. And you know what I mean? They're all stressed out. I'll tell you what. Jesus takes it all away. So seek him first, foremost, and always. I'm just telling you this is what you need to do. 9-11, right? It just, really, think about this. 63 of these in one place. Nine. And... <laughs> and 38 in the other, 11, right? You add the two together, the 38 and the 63, you get 101, 11. You see what I'm saying? So please seek Jesus because this is coming into your neighborhood, whether you like it or not. And you're either going to have to succumb to it and serve it or choose Jesus telling you it's one or the other you can't serve two masters it just can't be done so make it jesus okay i want to see you at that wedding party so there you go pray up folks armor up peace and grace to you many fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 